Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA here. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the sound options that your Jetty transmitter offers. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the menu button, scroll down to system, and we're going to go into our system sound. Now what this screen allows for is you can assign any available sound file to the system events. So as you see, we have a bunch of system events. Um, already loaded in this menu. Now you can't change it. These are all hard-coded into the, the menu itself. But what you can do is preview what WAV file is associated with that function. So for example, um, let's take a look at your receiver bound. Say I want to figure out what sound will occur when the receiver binds. I hit the play button. Receiver bound. And now I know what WAV file is associated with that. If I want to change that, this is the menu that I would do that in. So say we want to go ahead and change that. I'm going to hit our 3D button. And it'll bring you to the sound that is already pre-programmed for that option. Um, if you want to change it, you scroll your wheel till you found, find what WAV file you want to associate with that. So say I don't know what something sounds like, I can always preview it here. Idle 2. Um, also, one thing I want to point out in this menu is when you scroll down to the bottom, you will see three dots. That will indicate that there is another page. Um, now since it takes you to whatever option is loaded in for that function, Whatever page you're on, since it's alphabetical, you'll either have one at the bottom or one at the top or both. In this case, we have one at the bottom because we're on the first page. So you hit that and you can go on to your next page. So we'll just go ahead and assign this wave file. Warning, temperature max spec high. And that'll be what you hear now when your receiver is bound. Um, say we can change the startup as well. You can also set it to where you don't have any. So we're going to go back all the way to the first page and you'll see the option for none. If I assign that, you now see three dots, meaning that nothing is assigned to that function. So when I start my transmitter up, I will not hear any noise. The next menu I want to take you to is the sound volume menu. So here you can actually adjust the volume control for your entire audio system on your transmitter. So you'll see volume, beep volume, vario volume, playback volume, and stop playback. This first volume control right here is your overall volume. So you can assign any proportional switch to it. So I want to assign um, my proportional switch 8. So I make sure I'm highlighted under the control. I hit my 3D button again. And now I can change this and assign proportional 8. So I hit OK and it brings me back to my sound volume. Now you can see here altitude 2.1 meters my proportional 8 1.6 meters will adjust that sound. You can do the same thing for the beeps and the trims, your vario or your playback of your wave files. Um, this stop playback switch is pretty neat. If you have a wave file playing and you want to stop it, if you assign a switch right here, we're going to do my SH switch, I can now instantaneously stop my wave file from playing. So, for example, we hit this switch, bells play, and then I can stop it before it continues on. So if you guys have any questions, if there's anything more um, you want to know about the sound options, please feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us um, via email or via the phone number, and you can find all that on jettyusa.com or spreemodel.com. Thank you.